Grade 7 math, number 3.5a, dividing rational numbers. We divide rational numbers with the same rules as integers. If we've got two like signs, positive and positive or negative and negative, it's going to be a positive quotient. Answer. And if we've got unlike signs, it's going to be a negative quotient. It's going to be a negative answer. Okay? So think of this like liking online. When you like something, it's thumbs up. It's positive that you like it. And when you unlike something, that's a negative thing, isn't it? When you unlike something, so that's negative. So remember, fractions are just little division problems. If you have a negative 100 over a positive 5, it just means negative 100 divided by 5. It's going to equal negative 20 because their signs are unlike, okay? We divide their absolute values. That's how far they are from 0, right? Negative 100's absolute value is 100, and 5's absolute value is 5. 5 goes into 100 20 times. Because they have unlike signs, it's a negative 20. See? Well, the placement of negative signs and quotients, quotients can have negative signs in different places. We've got 12 divided by negative 4, negative 12 divided by 4, and we've got a negative with a 12 over 4 in parentheses. They all equal negative 3. All three of these. The quotients are all the same because they aren't affected by the placement of the negative sign. They're all equivalent to each other. They're all equal to each other. Okay? You got a positive divided by a negative. Those are unlike signs, right? Positive 12 divided by negative 4. Unlike signs would make a negative 3. Negative 12 divided by positive 4. Those are unlike signs, so it's a negative 3. Well, this just basically means negative 12 divided by 4, so it's going to be a negative 3 also. So all three of these are equivalent to each other, okay? They're all just different ways of writing these ratios, these fractions, okay? So if you have to do this, you know that each one of these ways are equivalent, okay? All right, this is going to be new. A complex fraction. That's two fractions divided by a fraction bar. It's like a fraction of a fraction. So... Here's our fraction bar right here, this brown line, and we have a fraction on the top and a fraction on the bottom. All this means is 7 tenths divided by negative 1 fifth. It's just as if it said 2 thirds, meaning 2 divided by 3. Same thing. So don't flip out when you see a fraction on top of a fraction. This is not that abnormal in algebra and stuff, okay? So you'll see this. Just know that this fraction bar right here just means divide. It's another way of writing this, okay? Just another way of writing the division sign. So to solve this, we multiply the negative one-fifth as its reciprocal, 5 over 1, as the absolute value, okay? And you remember what a reciprocal is? So if we have a half right here, a 1 over a 2, the reciprocal is going to be 2 over 1. It's the fraction's reciprocal. He's upside down. He's flipped. See, his legs are in the air. So, he is his reciprocal. See? So our equation, when we flip this one around, instead of having 7 tenths divided by negative 1 fifth, we end up with 7 tenths times 5 over 1. We can cancel out. We can factor out that 5 and the 10 as a 1 and a 2, can't we? 1, 5 goes into 10 two times. That makes it easier for us to simplify because 7 times 1 is 7 and 2 times 1 is 2 because the signs were unlike. We had a negative and a positive. It's unlike signs. It's negative. We've got, we've got 7 over 2. And when we simplify this, 2 can go into 7 three times with a half left over. So we got 3 and a half. So just remember how we divide fractions. That's all. We multiply by the reciprocal, the upside down fraction, and we factor out, we cross cancel out, right? If we have 7 eighths divided by 1 fourth, it's going to become 7 eighths times 4 over 1. We're going to flip this guy around, so the denominator's on top. And we can cross cancel these out, can't we? 1 four goes into 8 two times, so now we have 7 times 1 is 7, and 2 times 1 is 2, and it equals 3 and a half. See? So this is basically just dividing fractions. So if you can remember that from last year and the year before, you won't have a problem. If not, you might want to go back and peek at multiplying and dividing fractions to get a quick refresher on it. So 
We're going to do a few more problems in 33.5b, and I hope I'm being helpful. I hope I'm not too confusing, and I hope you're getting this. And we'll get through it. I'll see you next video. Bye.